Hello everybody, my name is Adam and we are back in Planet Zoo today for another video where we will be creating a realistic meerkat habitat. And first things first, like I always start with, the actual habitat barrier, the thing what separates the animals from our guest. I always start with this, I don't know why, it just seems to work out. And then I just duplicated it over and added some extra rocks as like an extra variant of a border um, for our animals. And then some obviously little bits of foliage to spark things up a little bit. These lovely little trees what I've never used before which are absolutely gorgeous. I love the white bark. And then it was time to go into the main building itself, itself what will act as somewhat of a hard shelter for our meerkats. I wanted this build to be kind of realistic and small. Um, you wouldn't see a massive meerkat habitat within a zoo. Well, not in a, in a normal like um, city small zoo, you wouldn't anyway. So I wanted to go small. Um, I love creating things um, small. I don't know why. I, there's something about creating a small habitat or a small shop, but adding loads of little, de little details and making sure it's very high detail or realistic. What really appeals to me, and it's something what... I enjoy I don't know why um, comment down below if, if you enjoy this too in fact comment what's your favorite type of habitat to build do you like building big habitats do you like building ha small habitats or do you not like building habitats and you like building shops and other scenery items let me know in the comment section below also in the comment section below you will find my links to my Twitter and Instagram and all those social media so you can keep up to date with what I create and if you're new around here then feel free to subscribe and join the channel and new or old hit that like button if you enjoy today's video and the content I produce for you all. Like I've already said, I wanted to keep it realistic, but I also wanted a modern vibe. You know I love creating stuff modern. You can see that from many other modern creations that I do in Planet Zoo. But yeah, but still keep it realistic. So I started creating kind of these this wooden, you know, this wooden hard shelter for our animals and our, our main structure of this habitat in this build, really. And then I started playing around with these mesh pieces and i tell you what, this took me a while to figure out how I wanted it to look. You can see me just placing these ones with the brown outline in wood. I didn't even end up going with these. I'll fast forward in a minute to show you what I actually ended up going with. And I am happy with it. I am happy at how this habitat came out looking in the end. And if you want this habitat um, in your own zoo and you want to download it off the Steam Workshop, link in the description for that. But yeah, I really enjoyed doing this. And... You know, sometimes I jump into Planet Zoo and I really can't find inspiration to build anything. And then other times, just ideas come up in my head or I'll see an image on TV or YouTube or or, the, or just Google um, reference images from zoos and stuff like that. And something will spark my inspiration and boom, I'm in Planet Zoo. And next thing you know, I've created a good looking habitat. But yeah, I'm going to skip forward now and show you how this, this, this steel mesh area on the outside of this building came out looking in the end. And there we have it. Here it is how it came out looking. You can see I've kept the brown um, wooden mesh pieces on the top, but as like a little like extended roof kind of thing uh, to let some air into the actual habitat itself as well, into the indoor area anyway. And then the outside area, I changed the old wooden pieces and ended up putting like the, the more traditional mesh pieces in. Again, I just try to keep to realism really. That's pretty much what I tried to do. You can see me just creating the roof here where I went with um, these metal pieces and I don't use these enough because they do make really good roofs and there's some in the game what you can add as um, on the grid but I went with off the grids just so I can get a little bit more length so the roof sticks out on the edge. I don't know why I do this, it just seems to look better than actually square on against the walls. Just stick it over the edge, give the, um, the roof a little bit of lip they call it a lip on the and then i delete the middle part here to make kind of like a skylight i don't know why i just thought it'd look pretty good and it'll make the building you know stand out a little bit more and a bit more eye-catching as, as the centerpiece of this habitat really because it is a small habitat I, I, I tend to do things a custom way i try to go off the grid a little bit and um, think about the custom things I can create like this little skylight just to make it stand out a little bit more with it being such a small build you do want to still make it eye catching and make sure your guests want to stop as if it was real life and have a look at the lovely meerkats themselves which we do end up putting two in again this is only a small habitat so I think maximum four I would go with if you don't if you do download this yourself and want to use it and put it in your own zoos I would only suggest 
suggest you put four maximum meerkats in there. I know that they can breed quite a lot as well, so you know, you're probably going to end up selling a lot. So there's the skylight pretty much done and in place, and the roof of the skylight on. And now let's fast forward to the actual creation of the inside of the habitat. But before I do that, I just simply finish off this mesh pieces and again just go with the rocks, placing them at different lengths all around the outside here just to finish off the actual barrier, giving it a more natural realistic look. Boom, just like that with the power of editing. We have come to pretty much how the habitat is complete. I put the path in. You see me now just putting the foliage in step by step for you, like a stop motion picture kind of thing. Just putting the foliage around the rocks again. I know I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again, keeping it with the realism aspects, and then everything the meerkat needs inside itself. And just like that, our meerkats are now in the habitat. It is complete. It is finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. If you want this for your own zoos, remember, my Steam Workshop link is in the description below for you to download this habitat. My name's Adam, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you in the next Planet Zoo video.